founded in 2001, Care for Uganda initially worked in the Vikasa area of Kampala, including the slums of Katongali. In addition to starting the child sponsorship program, it built a school, a clinic and an orphanage. It has since handed these buildings over to Ugandan nationals for them to administer. Since the sponsorship program was started, Cafe Uganda has been able to help well over 300 children and families. It's wonderful to see the difference that has been made to these lives. Hassan's mother was a village drunk when we started sponsoring him. Hassan was dirty and unruly. His mother has now given up drinking alcohol and has held down a job as a school cleaner for a number of years. Hassan has reached as far as he is able academically. He is now being trained as a car mechanic. Stanley had been abused, so initially he spent some months in Daniel's house, our small orphanage. Stanley had some discipline problems and, as he grew, he got into some trouble in the local community of Bukasa. Care for Uganda were asked if we could provide him with some vocational training, as he was not making much progress academically. We were able to take him to Boa, where he received training in brick making and brick laying skills. Stanley has now returned to Bukasa to look for work. When we first met Joseph, he was a sort of artful dodger in the slums of Katongali. Joseph is a very clever young man who is doing very well in his academic studies. Samuel and his three sisters used to live in one very small room with their grandmother in the slum area of Katongali. Sadly, she was unable to cope with looking after her four grandchildren, so we provided them a home in Daniel's house. When all of them are of secondary school age, they will attend boarding school in Mijana as this is likely to be the best preparation for them in order to ensure that they will be able to cope and make their way in life once they have completed their sponsorship. Rita was very small with just a few rags to wear when we first met her. Sponsorship has made a huge difference to her and her family. Rita is doing quite well in her schoolwork and she certainly now has some better clothes. Sadly, Abraham had AIDS and died. Sponsorship meant we were able to provide extra food to help make his last couple of years of his short life as comfortable as they could possibly be. Abraham received excellent care from the Mild May Hospital. John Bosco has cerebral palsy. He was rejected by his mother and we found him in his early teens. At that time a number of people in the community of Bukasa were trying to help John by providing him with accommodation. But they could only afford to give him a week here and a week there. As we had space in our small orphanage, Daniel's house, we were able to provide John with a more permanent home. John attended Kairos Primary School until he reached the limits of his academic ability. He then moved to Boa, where he received training in brick making and brick laying skills. We have been delighted with John's progress, so much so that he has now been employed as site supervisor at Boa. Dalton and Nicholas were the first two children to be taken onto the sponsorship programme back in 2001. Sponsorship has made a huge difference to them. Dalton is currently at university studying for a degree in engineering. Nicholas is the assistant welfare officer for Care for Uganda and is also studying part-time for a degree in art and design. There are many children who still need the help that sponsorship can give them. It provides school fees, scholastic materials, school uniforms and food during term time for those in primary education, then school fees for those in secondary education. It's amazing what £18 per month can achieve. Brother Mandy has been Welfare Officer for Care for Uganda for a number of years now. He has an excellent rapport with the children and is very well respected in the communities in which Care for Uganda works. Many people show an interest in the work of Care for Uganda. In 2009, John Townley, Head of Sustainable Development and Wales for Africa in the Welsh Assembly Government, visited the Care for Uganda headquarters in Boa. As part of the Welsh Assembly Government's Gold Star Community Award, Care for Uganda has initiated a partnership between the communities of Britain Ferry in South Wales and Boa in Uganda. To begin with, this partnership is being developed through primary school links. Having obtained a grant, we were able to arrange for two teachers from Britain Ferry to make an initial visit to Boa in June 2009. It is hoped that two teachers from Boa will be visiting Britain Ferry in May 2010. One of the partnerships that Care for Uganda has is in the area of vocational training. 
We've signed a memorandum of understanding with Boa Community Polytechnic run by the Government of Uganda and Boa Secondary Vocational School run by the Buganda Kingdom. Kefi Uganda is working to provide vocational training particularly for people who have had no formal education, for whom the theoretical side of vocational training is a problem. So far we've been able to train people in brick making, brick laying and tailoring. Churches are another area where Care for Uganda is developing partnerships. Traditional skills and customs are important and Care for Uganda seeks to encourage these wherever possible. A group of children from the community, including a number from our sponsorship programme, are being trained in traditional dance. Various doors have opened for Care for Uganda, which have led us to make the decision to make the community of Boa in the district of Luero the main centre for our developing work. In order to demonstrate our commitment to this community, and also to reduce the serious risks involved in travelling by road in Uganda, it was decided to build a small basic accommodation block at Boa. In future, anyone who goes to work in this community will be able to stay here. So far, Care for Uganda has been able to make a difference to the lives of individuals and families. Now we have the opportunity to make a difference to a whole community. We're trying to make sure that all of our projects are now sustainable. This will ensure that the work of Care for Uganda has an even greater impact in the future.